Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yashala, Koholoyimla, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim, Rakai Hakodash, the honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akiyim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. This is our Hanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Okay, and this is um, an article, this popular influencer, uh, Anvi Kamdar, I'm probably pronouncing her name wrong, she's uh, deleted at 27 after falling into a gorge while filming Instagram video, see, now she's an influencer, who do you think she's influenced by though, where do you think she got most of her influences from, Babylon the Great, good old America. America has destroyed every country that it has, you know, um, penetrated, so to speak, with their ideologies and, you know, their way of life, their way of living, you know, the food culture, you know, just everything. Um, um, that beauty culture, that do as thy will culture, um, come as you are culture. That's all, um, you know, influence from, you know, the, the, the biggest influence, biggest influencers in the world is these, these damn Americans, man. So-called white man. Okay, it says she um, she was deleted at 27 after falling 300 feet into a gorge while filming a video for Instagram at a waterfall in India, way over in India. This is a, this is American influence, man. Known for her travel content. Okay, so here you go. You're 27, and you're just out here gadding abroad, just for um um you know uh likes and and. And shares on on the social media po um, 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 platforms, man. That's pretty much all that you know. A lot of people are into now. That's that, that's it, man. Everybody want to be a damn influencer. Nobody want to go and get a real job. Nobody wants to, you know. And that's how this place, you know, this place is plummeting too. You don't have people that want to go out and do things that keep the the you know any um in, you know a country or an economy moving. Everybody can't be a damn influencer. <laughs> but but everybody is really going for it. It's almost like when the, when the rap thing, it, it, you know, you got a a, a, a billion motherfuckers want to be rappers. A billion motherfuckers want to go to the NBA, you know, or NFL. And you got all these people that's focused on just getting there, and it's only a small percentage of people that's actually making it there. But every but 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 you got people they blow their entire life, man, on um, doing stuff like this. Anyway. Known for travel content, Kamdar was visiting Cumbri Waterfall about 80, 80 miles from Mumbai with a group of friends. The beloved content creator was filming an Instagram reel near the edge when she lost her footing and suffered a fatal fall on Tuesday, July, 7, um, July 16th. She fell on the hard, slippery patch of rocks around 300 feet into the valley and couldn't be spotted initially. She was sent up using a stretcher attached to rappling ropes. Six rescuers climbed down to the hill while another 50 assisted atop the hill, the hill lock. Authorities reported it took about six hours for first responders to pull um, her body from the gorge. According to reports, Kamdar was not killed by the fall. So, yes, yeah, she suffered. She wasn't killed by that initial fall. She was initially responsive, but on a ventilator. Sadly, however, she... She, she passed on away after arriving at um, the hospital. Th uh, through her love and, and sharing helpful tips with her audience, she amassed 285,000 followers on Instagram. Following news of her tragic deletion, many of these followers took to the comment, comments of her final post to pay tribute. I can't believe, I can't believe it, fellow influencer. See, another influencer. This is deeply saddening and has kept me up all night. She was one of the kindest people I knew. This person says, please, let's let us let's focus on praying for her soul to rest in peace and remember the joy and positivity she brought to our lives. Stop commenting on the real part. We were not there. Don't amplify misinformation. Instead, honor her memory with love and respect. Marga, um, this person concluded, let's remember her smile and the happiness she spread, please be empathetic. 
And, and you know why, you know, uh, they saying stuff like this? Because people look at shit like this and they like, how fucking stupid can you be? And there's a scripture that goes into that. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. The scripture talks about who will pity a charmer. Uh, in the Apocryphal Ecclesiasticus 12, I think that's uh, maybe 14 or 13. No, 13. Ecclesiasticus 12 and 13, also known as the Book of Sirach. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast? So basically what it's saying is who's going to pity a person that's doing some shit that can potentially get them fucked up. And, 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 and you know, you're just thinking like, well, why would you do that? What kind of shots did you need that you needed to get that close where you, you lose your footing and you fall instead of, you know, you being on, on, on solid ground, so to speak, where at least if you slip, you fell on, you know, the surface around you, so to speak. You, 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 you on the edge. So that's the reason why, um, you, you know, you see a lot of comments like that. Please be empathetic because people are not they going in in the comment boards. They going in. And, and again, that's that ability to, um, let me see, uh, I think the same um, book. It talks about, um, you know, giving um, a, a, woman, a woman liberty to get abroad, man. She basically, she'll destroy herself. Yep, um, Ecclesiastes 25 and 25, it says, give the water no passage. Neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. See? What's she doing traveling all over these places and, you know, trying to be a damn influencer? I, I bet you she didn't even have no kids. Probably no husband. And generally those people, you know, in India, they generally, you know what I'm saying? They get married pretty. They got older traditions. They generally get married pretty early. Arranged marriages and things of that nature. And, and they have families. Here you go. She's running around out here trying to be a goddamn influencer. You know, hey, and this right here is happening to a lot of people. You're hearing more and more about people getting fucked up from trying to be influencers. They're falling off skyscrapers. They're trying to take the perfect picture, you know, falling off damn buildings, uh, uh, getting eaten by damn um, lions and bears and whatever, trying to take selfies with wild ass animals. Anyway, it says she was extremely responsible traveler. Oh, oh yeah. If she was extremely responsible, then she would have knew not to be on the edge of that damn cliff like that. It says it was an accident. No, it wasn't no accident, man. That wasn't no accident at all. We know that the Lord um, done that. Let's get that. You see, you got people that, that believe in accidents and it was a coincidence. No, nah, man. Man's goings of you. How about Shimia was shy? Her, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet you her parents was probably totally against her going out and doing shit like that. Probably telling her, hey, settle on in. Get, you know, get married, have children. You know, uh, make us grandparents, so to speak. Hey, the, hey, but the influence comes from Babylon the Great. The Americas, everybody wants to be like this motherfucker, man. So when you get to seeing places like North Korea, I think North Korea, they just, uh, I think it was like six six or so teenagers. You know, they deleted their asses. That, hey, Kim Jong-un, he's not playing. He don't want nothing to do with Western society. They caught him, um, I think, listening to some of that K-pop music. Or something westernized, and they and they deleted their asses. That that man had the asses done up, cause he don't want no influences from America to be pushed in his country. Because obviously he understands that it, it it's just gonna lead to death. That's it, man. But let's get um, I'm gonna grab two. Let's get this one. Well, let, yeah, let's no, let, let's get Deuteronomy first. Th Deuteronomy thirty-two and thirty-nine, right? It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. I gave, I, I quoted this scripture to somebody yesterday and they told me I was using it out of context. As if the Lord, this is plain, this is plain. So let's get the one in uh, 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. How can you misinterpret that? Oh, you're using that out of context. What do, what do you mean? 
But see, that's the, these people that think that they have choice. That's the reason why they can use words like accident. Oh, it was an accident. No, nah, man. No, it wasn't an accident. The Lord, the Lord led her right to where she needed to be to get, get her demise. This is Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings of the Lord, how can a man then understand his own way? She could have been getting all the warnings from her parents. Oh, it's dangerous being on a road like that. It's dangerous going to those places. You be careful, whatever, whatever. Oh, mom, I got it. That American talking back. And the Lord set her ass up. That was her last, tra in a tragic way. Spirit of vengeance. Hit her ass probably with a wind blow. You know, probably a, a, a nice breeze or something came through and blew her ass. Them feet went to slipping, you know, and she went to, and, and next thing you know, she's screaming for 300 feet. And it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God too, man. That, that, uh, that Hebrews 10 and 31 is real. The Lord is terrifying among the children of men, man. You see, that's why we always pray and ask Yahweh about Shemiah was for mercy, man. And you're not supposed to be tempting the Lord. Because she was probably standing there right up just, you know, trying to get that perfect shot. Because a lot of people have been losing their life, man, with that shit lately, man. Bring these up. These scriptures come out every day. Ecclesiastes 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour off their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death. All of these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. In the average Christian church, they're not telling people that, that, that the Lord got spirits of vengeance, man. I will knock your ass off if you get out of get out of pocket. And the Lord is cold, man. I mean, I, we seriously need the mercy. We need uh, 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 the Lord's mercy, man. His, his, his loving kindness, man. For real, for real. Because he's so powerful. It's like, it, it, you know... You don't know his, no one knows his next move. You, I mean, you can't, I mean, look, man. <laughs> Let me get this one. Because it's so, it, 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 you can't really explain it. It's like, the Lord is so amazing, man. Let's get Psalms 147. And five. It says, great is our Lord and of, of great power. His understanding is infinite. You couldn't possibly understand what what the 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 the, the, uh, the choreograph or you know the putting together of someone being knocked off like this, man. Everything has to come together perfectly. That's why when you get that first Kings, when the Lord set Ahab up, because the Lord is the one that's setting up these people to um to, to die, man. It's him. First Kings 22 and 19, it says, I'm going to start there at 19. And he said, hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. That's what we just read, those spirits of vengeance. Because you got the spirits of vengeance, they on the left. You got the, you know, the Lord's messengers or the ones that do good or the protectors, so to speak. You know, they're on the right. Because the Lord is the perfect balance. He created good and evil. It says, and the Lord said, who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Galiad? And one said on this manner and another said on that manner. So it's a counsel as to how this guy's going to die. And there came forth the spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said, with, and the Lord said unto him, wherewith? So the Lord is like, how you going to do it? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lion spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and, and do so. See? So that right there should, should change the, the, you know, the mind of a, of a damn Christian, man. But you'll have these Christians, they'll read that and be like, oh, well, it doesn't really mean what it's saying there. You know, that, that's a, uh, you know, that's, that's a, you know, that's an allegory or that's a, you know, this, this, this and this, man. 
No, the Lord is in control of who lives and who dies. He's doing that all day long, every day. Spirits of vengeance are going forth, right? His spirits of vengeance always at work. They're, they're never, there's never not nothing for them to do. They're not on vacation. They're not taking, um, you know, a Christmas break or spring break off, man, and shit like that. They are always on the move. Matter of fact, let's get um, Isaiah 45, so like 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. See? Because you got Christians that don't even believe that the Lord created evil. But, but in the same breath, they'll tell you, yeah, he created all things. Well, okay, if he created all things, don't, doesn't that mean that he would have had to have created evil too? Oh, well, see? Bunch of damn confusion, man. With all that, see, you got to take the whole book, man, for what it is, man. You can't just be like, oh, well, I don't agree with that part, you know. Nah, man, the whole book, it, this thing comes together. You got to accept the whole package, man. Amos 3 and 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid. Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it. See, can't get around that, man. So anyway, yeah, this is, you know, pretty, pretty foolish of her. But hey, she's out of here. Those little 285,000 people that she amassed through. It's a wrap. All that's over with. It says it was an accident. Could have happened to anyone. Media headlines are made for attention and they're sadly negative. But please don't let that slide. The fact that she was a beautiful human, her work, her passion, her story and her should be honored at, at this time. Please. Yeah, right. And like I said, I'm not going to even go into the comments, but they clown on her. They clown on her. Pretty much all the comments. It's only 75, but I was reading through them. Yeah, they clown on her, man. But this is that American influence. Where do you think she got this from? Those young ladies over there, they generally don't even, they generally don't even dress like this. See? They generally don't dress like that. You know, she. where do you think she get this look from? Where do you think she get this influence from? Babylon the Great. Good old America. And that's why a lot of those, those, um, those, you know, countries. They don't want nothing to do with America. They don't. And, and America forces their, their, their way of life upon people, man, on this planet. That's why, you know what I'm saying? You got like a lot of some, you know, uh, a lot of those African countries, so to speak. They've been going against. The A, B, C, D, E, F, G shit. And what does America do? They sanction them. Here you go. This is a sovereign country. Should be able to run their country the way that they want to run it. But because they're not running it the way that you said. That's how we know who, who's in charge. The so-called white man, man. That Job 9 and 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If he's not, then who is he? He's the one running throughout the earth, making all the rules. You're going to get down to lay down. You know, if you don't do what I say to do, I'm going to ruin your economy. If you don't do what I do, I'm going to freeze your bank accounts. <laughs> you know, he's in, he's in control of that type of shit. That's how we know who he is. And this is, the, the, again, the, the in, this is American influence on this young lady right here. And, and had her going traveling with her Instagram followers. I'm, I'm pretty certain, like I said, going against her family's wishes. See? So? It's a lock here. Yep, 1044. Hey, we, we just waiting on the chariots, man. We pray that we, we the Lord will have mercy on us, man, and we can get the hell out of Esau's kingdom. Because this place is through, man. It, it's falling faster and faster. It just seems like as the days go on, it's just like shit is just speeding up, man. It's like time is just blowing by so quick. It's another Friday. <laughs> so with that, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Shola, Nababa Ball.